going to be the biggest um, biggest lake probably a sevens team would take. We're away for a whole month. Um, unlike many of the other teams, we only have one squad, so we can't rest and, and bring players in for certain competitions. Um, we've named a, a, a squad of 14 players. Um, they're going to hopefully get us through the whole month, that includes. So it's Hong Kong, uh, Commonwealth Games and then Singapore. It's a tough ask on those players as, as two weeks in sevens really uh, really drains the body so it's, it'll be a test of our strength and depth and of our durability. We have two long-term injuries in, uh, in Phil Berner um, and Jake Teal, maybe not quite as severe, but those two guys were ruled out through injury. Um, the guys who've missed out, um, Lou Underwood has just come back from um, a, a long break from an injury he received to the neck and head in Cape Town, uh, Dubai rather, in t the end of 2017. It's been a long road back for, for Liam. He's almost ready to play. We just need him to uh, test himself out in contact. Um, that leaves Jared Douglas, Luke Bradley and Josiah Mora, who were the three guys um, who missed out on the, on the trip. They're on standby. I know I can rely on them if needs be. Hong Kong is the Blue Ribbon event. It's the one everybody wants to, to play in. It's the one everybody wants to win. Um, we're taking our best team there, as we would to every tournament. We we suffered in uh, Vancouver from a lack of consistency. We had a fabulous first day and missed out mathematically on progressing, uh, which maybe our player deserved. The difference between last year and this year is that we're playing better rugby this year, but we're not quite as consistent. Um, little things like injuries have affected us as, as our squad is so thin, but. You know that aside, it's our consistency that we have to improve if we want to to challenge in the cup competition.